Hey guys, what's up? It is Dan Lags, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different from my normal Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be doing a fun countdown and giving you guys my top 5 favorite video games of all time. And that means all my top 5 favorite video games that I've ever played personally. So this is just my list, this is not like the top 5, or top 5 best games ever. This is just my personal favorite 5 games uh, that I played uh, throughout my childhood up until now. So. Uh, I'm going to start this list off. Uh, some of the themes that you'll notice in this list are things like great memories, like which games gave me the best memories. Um, you know, a game has to have great a soundtrack, great music in it. Uh, great graphics is usually a pretty uh, good thing to have. Uh, great story mode and great character development is another thing that I always love in games. And then finally, uh, replay value is like super important when it comes to playing like my favorite video games. So. Um, yeah, that's kind of like my little criteria that I have for these for this list and it was hard to choose just five because I played a lot of games and uh, it was really tough to get it down to five. I was even considering doing a top 10 list, but I think top five is just perfect because it kind of captures the, the my personal favorite games I've ever played. So uh, let, without further ado guys, let's get started with this list. We'll start off with number five. All right guys, so coming in at number five on the countdown is Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the Nintendo GameCube. So, again, like I said, I played this game on the GameCube. Uh, that was, like, my first console that I got um, back in, like, the early 2000s. I, I don't exactly remember the year that I played this game because it came out at different times on different consoles. It came out a lot earlier on the Sega Dreamcast than it did on uh, GameCube. So, I'm not entirely sure when I played it. I think it was around 2005. It was, like, right before I went into middle school, I played this game a ton with uh, my buddy Jack. And I love this game a lot because... Um, it, well, this is my personal favorite Sonic game of all time. Like, it's not even close. This, this is by far my favorite Sonic game. I've had played some other good Sonic games, like Sonic Heroes, and the first Sonic Adventure was really good. But this is by far my favorite. It's got a great storyline. You can play as the heroes or the villains. So that was, like, one of my personal things I liked about it. Yeah, great storyline. Um, training the Chows was also a really fun thing to do. You could do the, you could train, like, these little Chow pets on the side, and you can level them up, and you can do, like, uh, karate and races with them. That was a fun little side thing to do. Once you finish like the main story, and uh, the graphics are pretty good for the time. I remember, I mean, they're not amazing graphics, but they were pretty good for like the early 2000s. So, um, you know, that's something that I took into consideration. And I also actually played this game again on Xbox 360 just last summer. Uh, they released it for 360, and that was pretty cool. So I was able to play through it again, and uh, it was just as fun the second time around as it was like I don't know, like it was like nine years later. So Sonic Adventure 2 Battle comes in at number five on the list. We'll move on to number four right now. Coming in at number four in the countdown is Minecraft. So, of course, I can't have this list without mentioning Minecraft. Minecraft, obviously, you know, the game that I base my YouTube channel around, it's the game that I have by far the most play time on of any game. Uh, you know, my YouTube channel is based off of it, and I absolutely love this game. I had to include it in my top five somewhere. The only reason why it's not higher on the list is just I had a few games ahead of it that were just, like, really uh, fun for my childhood that I had just had some great memories on. Um, so I didn't put it at number one, even though it's definitely my most played game. Uh, obviously, you guys know the things I love about Minecraft, the fact that you can be creative with it, and you can it's pretty much just an unlimited game. You can do whatever you want with it. And I love you know both creative and survival. I love both those parts of the game. I've been playing this game nonstop since 2012, so it's got to be in the top five, without a doubt. Um, I just had to find a spot for it in the top five. Um, you know, great memories with my friends, even from when I first started playing this game back when I was a really newbie at it. And then obviously the great memories going through my YouTube channel, building Danville, building Los Angeles, doing the countless number of videos that I've had so much fun with and just continue to have fun with. So Minecraft comes in at number four and we just have a couple of games from my earlier childhood, uh, that I just, <laughs> just ranks just slightly ahead. It's just such a close race. Like I said, it was so hard to choose five and put them in order so it's really not like the order that matters it's just really the five games themselves so moving on to number three right now all right guys so coming in at number three is pokemon ruby and sapphire so i'm kind of just saying this like the whole pokemon series in general because i love all the pokemon games and it was hard to choose just one game out of that series but i wanted to include it on the list so i just chose my favorite generation of the games and i'm talking about like the uh, the normal like training games where you can like battle and stuff like that i'm not talking about like uh Pokemon Stadium or like Pokemon Snap or any of like those really old games. Um, those games are good, but I like just like the personal like training games better, just like the normal games. And uh, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire third generation is probably my favorite of all the generations. I think there's six generations now, which is kind of crazy. And I played through every single one of them, going all the way back to Pokemon Red back in like 1999. In fact, Pokemon Red was the first game I ever played. Um, I, I guess my parents got me a Game Boy when I was like five years old. 
And uh, that was my first ever game. So Pokemon definitely is like a big uh, memory from my childhood. Uh, I still like playing it today, honestly. And um, yeah, Ruby and Sapphire was my personal favorite generation. That was third gen. That came out in 2002, I believe. Uh, I played it in, you know, mostly 2003. I think, no, I think it came out in 2002 in Japan. I think it came out in 03 in the United States. So, I was in third grade when that came out, which is 12 years ago. That's crazy how long ago that was. It feels like it was just yesterday. I uh, love that game. I had a ton of fun playing with my friends. I remember we also used to hang out at recess during the winter time when we couldn't go outside. And we'd link up our Game Boys and we'd battle each other. So, that was really fun back in the day. So, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire comes in number three on the list. Ma mainly Pokemon in general. So, now we'll move on to number two. Alright guys, coming in at number 2 on the countdown is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. So this game is actually pretty recent, So uh, and it's a game I still play now. You know, I started playing this game originally in 2011 when it came out, uh, and then I actually you know, just recently started playing it again for my second channel, uh, four years later, well, three years later. And uh, this game, oh man, I just, I love this game so much. I love everything about it. Um, it's, it's gotta be one of the more unlimited games. Again, I love games with replay value, like games like Minecraft, Pokemon, Skyrim. These kind of games are the games I love. Um, it's just Skyrim is just, every, you can do anything in that game. There's so many different things you can do, so much character customization. Um, you know, every single time you go onto the game, there's something new to do. It's not stale, it never gets boring. That's what I love about the game. There's so much things you can do. So many, like, side quests and quests and all that stuff. And all that, all, everything. You can do everything in that game. Um, I would say the one thing that, uh, you know, which keeps it from being the number one game of my f favorite game of all time would probably be the main quest line is, eh, it's just okay, uh, like, I don't know, I thought the ending was kind of eh, but if, I don't want to spoil it if no one's seen it, but, um, that was, that's probably the only reason why it's not number one, and I think that if they added, like, cutscenes and more character development to the game, it would probably be my number one game. Um, but obviously they just tried, they chose not to do that because they wanted it to be more of an open world aspect game, but, uh, Again, the customization, the detail is pretty much unmatched. Uh, super addicting and fun, and uh, you know, doing a series on it right now on my second channel. If you guys are interested, so you can go check that out. We got like 25 episodes or something like that. But the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is uh, my number two game ever, and now we'll move on to number one. All right, guys. So finally, here we go. The number one game of all time for me is The Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. So. Oh man, I, this game, this game's got a special place in my heart. I love this game so much. I love the Zelda series in general. I played like three or four of the Zelda games, Ocarina of Time, uh, a little bit of Wind Waker, uh, Twilight Princess is my personal favorite of all of them, and it's number one on the list. I played this game in 2007 in the summer for the Nintendo Wii. Uh, I think it came out in 2006, uh, so it's, it's getting really old already, man. It's already almost 10 years old. It's just, time flies, I'll tell you what. It makes me feel old doing this list, I'll tell you what. Uh, but yeah, I played this game. The graphics at the time were absolutely unmatched. They, they, they were honestly like the best graphics ever when I, when they first came out. Because back then, you know, HD wasn't like the standard. So it was, you know, just on the like the corner of like that HD turn, I guess, in uh, when everything's HD. But um, I remember that game just having amazing graphics, amazing storyline, like literally the best storyline ever. Um, it was really long and, uh, you know, great character development, things like that. And it was just a great um, plot. I just loved it. So... Um, great memories on that game. I remember it was really challenging. Like, I, it took me a long time to beat it, and I had to, like, like look up, like, answers, and I've, I think I got the guidebook for it, so that was, like, the only game I've ever gotten a guidebook for. Um, so that was really fun, just kind of, like, going through the game and solving all the puzzles and the dungeons, and just, like, you know, your standard Zelda game, but that's my personal favorite, so Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, number one on my list, my favorite game of all time. Uh, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I had a lot of fun making this video because it's just kind of something a little bit different from Minecraft, but, you know, it's still related to Minecraft a little bit. We got no Minecraft sitting at number four on this list, but, um, just to give you guys a couple of honorable mentions that didn't make the top five, games like GTA V, uh, Red Dead Redemption, some of the other Pokemon games, uh, there's so many games I can think of. Mega Man, some of the older Mega Man games for Game Boy, and there's a, just a bunch other that I'm not thinking of right now. Star Wars Battlefront 2, Mario Kart... Uh, Super Smash Bros. All those games are really awesome. But this is my top five. So we have Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, Skyrim, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, Minecraft, and Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. So that's my top five, guys. Uh, you know, it could really go in any order. These are just my personal five games. Uh, let me know what you guys' favorite games uh, are in the comment section. If you guys have any uh, games that you absolutely love, or if you have any of the, if you guys like any of the games that I like. I'm sure most of these games are pretty popular, so I'm imagining that some of you guys have played them. So. 
uh, especially like Pokemon and Skyrim. So, and obviously Minecraft. <laughs> I'm sure, every all you guys play that. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys like in the comments. I'm curious to see which games that you guys are interested in. Um, and some of your favorite memories on some older games. But yeah, that's my top five games of all time, guys. My personal favorites. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Again, I had a ton of fun making it. Give it a like if you did enjoy it. And it's been Dan Lags. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.